Hello students and welcome to our another science online class. For today's topic, ultraviolet or ultraviolet radiation. I am Sir Mao and I will be your facilitator for this online class. This presentation is powered by DLSAU Farm. Flexible Alternative Remote Modality of Learning. Ultraviolet Radiation The German physicist Johann Wilhelm Ritter, having learned of Herschel's discovery of infrared waves, looked beyond the violet end of the visible spectrum of the sun and found in 1801 that there exist invisible rays that darken silver chloride even more efficiently than visible light. So this is Johann Wilhelm Ritter, and this is an example of UV uh, light from fluorescent ball. So this spectral region extending between visible light and X-rays is designated ultraviolet. Sources of this form of electromagnetic radiation are hot objects like the sun, synchroton radiation sources, mercury or xenon arc lamps, and gaseous discharge tubes filled with gas atoms such as mercury, deuterium, or hydrogen that have internal electron energy levels which corresponds to the photons of, of ultraviolet light. So, in electromagnetic spectrum, ultraviolet is between X-ray and visible light. Okay. So in this in this illustration also shows the different types of ultraviolet radiation. We have UVA, UVB, and UVC. So, so the sun radiates energy in a wide range of wavelengths most of which are invisible to human eyes. The shorter the wavelength, the more energetic the radiation, and the greater the potential for harm. So the ozone layer absorbs harmful short wavelength ultraviolet light from the sun. So our ozone layer is important to protect us people from harmful effects of UV light. Ultraviolet radiation that reaches the Earth's surface is in the wavelengths between 290 and 400 nanometers. This is shorter than wavelengths of visible light, which are 400 to 700 nanometers. Okay, so in this electromagnetic spectrum, as, we, as you can see, this is the ultraviolet radiation. Okay, so we have three types of ultraviolet radiation. First is the UVC, which is absorbed by the ocean, ozone layer in stratosphere. The UVB, which is partially absorbed by ozone. And UVA, which is partially absorbed by the ozone too. Okay, so in our skin, what is the effect of UV rays? So the UVC, is being blocked in the stratosphere because of our ozone layer, but UVB damages the skin surface while UVA penetrates the skin up to our epidermis. Okay, so UVA can cause aging, wrinkling, skin cancer, and eye damage. So prevalently around at all times of day and penetrates untreated glass. Okay, so the UVB is, uh, can cause sunburn, skin cancer, aging, and eye damage. Strongest spring to fall between 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., but still an all-day year-round dress. UVC is being stopped in the ozone layer. So what is our um, intervention? So we need protection during sunny days. So we need to apply a broad spectrum sunscreen, clothing, shade. Uh, we need to stay under the shade and you